In this tutorial, we are going to learn use memo hook with example. After watching this video, your all doubts related to use memo will clear. So what is use memo? Use memo hook is used to apply memoization in React. So what is memoization? Memoization is a technique for improving the performance of code and it is useful to avoid expensive calculation on every render when the returned value is not going to change. Let's understand with the example. So in this example, I create two state variables, number and dark. Number is for input and pass that number in this expensive function, which I declare after the component. So basically this function will return the same number, but after running this unwanted loop, which I created just for explanation. In real world, it can be any long calculation or anything that takes more time and then store its return value in calculation variable. Now this dark state is for toggle dark and light mode. And according to this dark variable, we change the background color and text color. Let me show you. So whenever we increase the value of this input, that expensive function will run and return the new value in calculation and print it here. And when I click on this toggle button, background color and text color will change. Now focus on this calculation. Whenever we change this number, we are calling that expensive function and console this loop started. But it takes 0.5 or 0.3 seconds delay for updating. That's because of our unwanted loop in expensive function. But when we click on this toggle button, it also takes some second to update the theme. And you see, console again prints loop started and that's why we face this delay in toggle theme. So when we click on toggle button, React is re-rendering the component. So first, this line will run and it calls this expensive function and that takes extra work and we can't immediately toggle the theme. So the solution is, we will only run this function when this number is changed. So we use the use memo hook for that. And the good news is, use memo syntax is same as use effect hook. So first, I import use memo from react library and add it in functional component. So use memo will take two arguments. First one is for callback function and second one is for dependencies array. So whenever any variable from this dependency will change, only then and then this callback function will run. So I pass number in this dependency array and inside this callback function, we call this expensive function and pass number as parameter. Now you think, what is the difference between use effect and use memo? So use effect and use memo is same, but the difference is in use effect, we can't return the value and we can't store it in variable. We have to create one more state variable and then with the set value function, we can update that. But in use memo, we can return the value and we can store this value in variable. So I store this value in memo calculation. Now I remove this line and at the place of calculation, we call memo calculation. Now save the changes and take a look. When we change the number, it takes some seconds and that's obvious because we add unwanted loop. But when we click on this toggle button, it's not taking the extra seconds and we can immediately toggle themes. And this technique improves the performance of our application, which is very important thing in today's world. Let's recap what we learned. Use memo is used to improve performance of our React application. And we can stop running unwanted functions on re-rendering. So here is a syntax of use memo hook. It takes two arguments. First one is callback function, which will return the value and here, we will store this value in variable. Now second argument is dependency array, in which we can add variables. And when this variable will change, only then and then this callback will run. And with this variable, we print the return value. So we perform all side effects in use effect hook and all expensive functions calculation in use memo hook. Simple as that. I hope you understand use memo hook See you in the next tutorial, have a great day.